Welcome to the Lake Powell and Glen Canyon Dam update for October 2022. For another year of severe heat and little rainfall in the upper Colorado River Basin, the water level is still hovering near its lowest level since it was first filled. The only reason Powell is not hitting record lows today is due to increased water releases from reservoirs upstream. However, do these reservoirs contain enough water to keep propping up Lake Powell? In today's video, after we discuss the current water level statistics, we'll turn our attention upstream to find the answer. The water level at Lake Powell is 3,529 feet above mean sea level. That's 170 feet below full pool. Lake Powell's water level has declined 7 feet 8 inches so far this year. The water elevation is 113 feet below the 3,643 feet average water level for this date. The record high was set on July 14, 1983 at 3,708.34 feet. The current water level is 7 feet 3 inches above the record low for Lake Powell that was set on April 22, 2022 at 3,522 feet. When we look at previous year's water level for the same date, we see the Lake Powell Reservoir has decreased by 18 feet compared to the same time last year. Compared to 2020, the reservoir is 66 feet lower. The water elevation is 73 feet below the waterline on the same date in 2005, when Lake Powell was also experiencing record low water levels. There is currently 5,804,000 acre feet of water in the Lake Powell Reservoir, which is 23% of full capacity. This is only 46,000 acre feet above the record low for the reservoir that was set earlier this year on April 22nd. Lake Powell is 11 million acre feet below the 16.8 million acre feet average capacity for this date. Full capacity, also known as full pool, is 25.1 million acre feet. One year ago, the Lake Powell Reservoir was at 7.3 million acre feet, or 29% of full capacity. The reservoir steadily declined through the end of the year and well into 2022, hitting a record low of 5.7 million acre feet, or 22% of capacity, on April 22nd. Then the elevation began to increase due to some plans that were enacted to prop up water levels in an effort to allow the Glen Canyon Dam to continue to produce hydropower. Lake Powell is now at 5.8 million acre feet, or 23% of full pool capacity. This sharp drop on July 1st is the 443,000 acre feet reduction due to sedimentation. There are three major reservoirs in the Colorado River Basin that are upstream from Lake Powell the Navajo, Blue Mesa, and most importantly, Flaming Gorge Reservoirs. Unfortunately, these reservoirs may not have enough water to keep Lake Powell above a critical threshold for much longer. The Bureau of Reclamation took emergency steps earlier this year to use water from these upstream reservoirs to prop up Lake Powell's water level. This provides surrounding communities with more time to plan for the likelihood the reservoir will soon fall too low for the Glen Canyon Dam to generate hydropower. The Glen Canyon Dam has the capacity to produce about 5 billion kilowatt hours of hydroelectric power annually. That electricity is distributed to millions of customers throughout the southwest United States. However, if Lake Powell's water level declines below the 3,490-foot threshold, the Glen Canyon Dam will stop producing power. The Bureau of Reclamation implemented two plans earlier this year to prevent Powell from falling below its minimum power pool threshold. Their first plan was to release more water from the Flaming Gorge Reservoir. The second plan was to significantly reduce water releases from Lake Powell, causing Lake Mead's water level to decline. If these two plans were not implemented, there was a 25% chance that the Glen Canyon Dam could have stopped producing hydropower by January. But using water from Flaming Gorge to support water levels at Lake Powell is only a temporary solution and is not sustainable for much longer. While Flaming Gorge is the largest of the upstream reservoirs, it only has a full pool capacity of 3.8 million acre feet. At current water levels, Flaming Gorge has less than 2.8 million acre feet left. Based on these numbers, Flaming Gorge will not be able to continue the increased water releases for much longer. The Bureau of Reclamation is currently releasing water from Flaming Gorge to Lake Powell at increased levels until it reaches its goal of 500,000 acre-feet by April 2023. Because of these releases, 
the Bureau predicts the water level in Flaming Gorge will drop by 9 feet. Blue Mesa and Navajo, the other major reservoirs above Lake Powell, do not contain enough capacity to provide much help to Lake Powell. If the lower basin states do not implement plans to significantly reduce water consumption soon, the Glen Canyon and Hoover Dams will stop producing power. It's just a matter of time. As always, I'll continue to monitor the situation and provide you with regular updates. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I really value your support. Thanks for watching.